What's going on, guys? Zuko back with another Dragonflight video. Um, this one is absolutely crazy. This tier set bonus for Disc Priest is completely bonkers. It is, I think this is the best healing tier set um, that I have seen, certainly that I have tested, but um, I think it's the best one. This is really crazy. On paper, it doesn't look like the craziest thing. It's like two sentences. You know, one for each uh, of the of the set bonuses, but um, we're gonna get into it. But this thing is really insane, and if you're thinking about at all about playing Disc Priest in 10.2, you absolutely should. That's the TLDR of this video. This thing is completely bonkers. So let's dive right in to the tier set bonus. I'm gonna look at um, my actions here. Oh, I had them all queued up. Where'd they go? Oh, I'll have to get them back later, or I'll get a, I'll get a different. Uh, I'll get some different actions here, but here's what's going on with this tier set bonus. Basically, it's centered around Smite. The four piece is going to make Smite proc a second time. We'll talk about that in a second. And then Smite is also extending our active atonement, one active atonement, not all of our active atonements, just one of them. Let me read it out here. Smite and Penance damage increased by 20%. First of all, that's a huge win. A lot of the other healers, as I've said in my other videos, they don't have any damage bonus at all. Disc Priest does, so does Preservoker, and so does Holy Paladin. The other ones don't, so this is a great bonus. 20% Smite and Penance damage. Smite extends the duration of one active atonement per Smite cast. I'm going to put that in there by two seconds. Very important to understand that. Smite has a 100% chance to cast an additional time during Shadow Covenant, dealing 14,000 uh, uh, 14, Shadow damage. That's more than the base damage. The base damage is 12.6 Holy damage, okay? Let me jump to the class changes really quick, because this is important to understand, and there are a bunch of them, and then we'll dive right back into the tier set bonus. Number one, Schism and Shadow Covenant are passive now. They are no longer active buttons. Mind Blast also has a much longer cooldown. It has a 20-second cooldown base. I'm getting it down a little bit with my haste. These three buttons, essentially sh a Schism and Shadow Covenant especially, they didn't want you to have to press them all the time anymore because the opener for Disc Priest could feel really clunky where you're like Schism, Shadow Covenant, uh, Shadow Fiend or Mindbender, and then, then you can kind of like get going on your rotation, like Radiance, and then you're healing. It's like three to four buttons before you're doing anything. They didn't want that. So they removed two of them. So now Schism and Shadow Covenant are passive. Shadow Covenant is activated by Mindbender. Keep that in mind. Very important. You press Mindbender, you immediately get the Shadow Covenant buff, which transforms Halo, Divine Star, and Penance into Shadow Spells and increases all your Shadow Damage and Healing, okay? Good buff to have. And then we have Twilight Council, just increases your Shadow Damage and Healing by another 10%, okay? These are passive now. Very important, and they're activated by Mindbender. We'll get to the big cooldown in a second. Sh uh, Power Word Life is now only an Execute Heal. You cannot cast this until you're ally is below 35% of their max HP, but it is a massive heal now. It's guaranteed to be massive, which it was massive anyway if you used it in execute, but sometimes sometimes the quality of life in this thing was horrible where somebody would be, they would dip into execute and you would turn to heal them and they would like pull themselves out of execute, like way out of execute. And you wouldn't be able to use it or you would use it and then you wouldn't get the reduced cooldown because they wouldn't have been an execute. So that's never going to happen anymore. So it's now just a solid 15 second cooldown and it's an execute heal. It's really strong. I like the change that they made here. I think this is really, really good. Okay. There's also a new talent called Sanctuary. Smite prevents the next 11,000 damage dealt by them. It scales with your item level. This used to be an effect that was on Smite like a year ago or a while ago in past expansions and now it's back. So you smite something and it's going to reduce the damage that they deal, which is very, very good. Uh, flash heal got bumped by 40%, which is actually very good for binding heal because 20% uh, of flash heal um, heals you if you cast it on somebody else. And this still also applies atonement. So flash heal now hits for 72k. That's really big, actually. And it's going to apply an atonement to your ally if you cast it on them and also an atonement to you, which is very, very good. And then we have the new... What just happened? Oh, my game's lagging. Give me one second here. This keeps happening. Hopefully it'll it'll stop in a second. There's a brand new talent I'll get to in a second that replaces Light's Wrath, and it's called Ultimate Penitence. You've probably seen people on the PTR messing around with this thing, exploding and firing off a whole bunch of Penance Bolts. It's a really, really good cooldown now for Disc Priest, and it functions very, very well. Okay, we're back. 
Here it is right here. This used to be called Light's Wrath. Light's Wrath used to be the old Legion artifact ability, and it carried through all the way until now, and finally they got rid of it. Ultimate Penitence is insane. It's way, way better. Light's Wrath never really functioned the way it was, like, designed to. I don't know what was going on with it, but... You jump into the air, and you do a whole bunch of holy damage or a whole bunch of healing, and while you're ascended, you gain a shield, and you're unaffected by knockbacks or crowd control. It is nuts. It is so, so good. Also, there's buffs to it. This is really important. Each penance bolt that you fire reduces the cooldown of ultimate penances by two seconds. This includes your regular penance casts that you're doing. So... Not only does this thing, which launches like 15 penance bolts or something, it's going to cool down ultimate penance, but your regular penance will as well. I think this is li this is probably going to be sitting at like a two and a half to two minute cooldown, depending on how many penances you use. I haven't really tested it a whole lot yet, but that's my guess. And then this is insane. Ultimate Penitence emits an explosion of light, healing 10 allies around you and applying atonement for half the normal duration. That's a seven second atonement. 10 allies... Seven second atonement immediately. That is insane in raid in particular, but it's also good in Mythic Plus. This cooldown is ridiculous. It is completely ridiculous. You have to take it now, no matter what. It's just insane, okay? Those are all of the major class changes. Barrier got nerfed by 5% as well. Instead of 25%, DR it's only 20. Not the biggest deal. And I believe that's it. Those are all the major, major changes for the class. Now, let's jump back to the tier set bonus for, for a minute here. Let me explain to you why this is the most broken tier set bonus for all the healers. The four piece says Smite has a 100% chance to cast an additional time during Shadow Covenant. What's Shadow Covenant again? It's this thing here. It's activated by Mindbender. So step one, you must take Mindbender now with this new tier set bonus because it's a one minute cooldown instead of being a three minute cooldown for Shadow Fiend. You need to have the cooldown on this lowered so that you can get so that when you press Mindbender, it'll activate Shadow Covenant. And when Shadow Covenant is activated, your Smite will cast twice. This is really important because Smite does so many things when you cast it now. Get ready for this. One cast of Smite during the Shadow Covenant buff, which is when Mindbender is up. Okay. One cast of Smite now deals double damage. So it does 12,000 damage and then 14,000 damage. It's going to extend... Your active atonement, one active atonement twice. I tested this. I will show you again, but I tested this. If you cast one smite, it'll cast that second shadow smite, and it will extend atonement twice. One for the first smite, one for the second smite. It will also heal anybody who has atonement on them twice because it's a second smite, and it heals through atonement. So it heals everybody a second time, which is insane. And now with this sanctuary buff... It will proc this Sanctuary buff on the enemy twice. So you'll go Smite, it'll go 11k, 22k, 20, 24k, uh, 36 I'm doing math on the flight. You know what I'm saying, okay? It procs it twice. Also, the second proc from the tier set bonus is Shadow Damage. 14,000 Shadow Damage. That is buffed by Schism. It's buffed by Shadow Covenant. And it's continued to be buffed even more by Twilight Count's Corruption because it is extra... Um, spell you know shadow spell damage smite is now by far the most important button that you have because not only does it do all those things it reduces the cooldown of mind bender through void summoner your smite mind blast and penance cast reduce the cooldown of shadow fiend or mind bender by four seconds this is completely insane it is like crazy how much work the four piece is putting into this just by casting smite let me show you the very very first part of it here we go i'm going to shadow i'm going to uh, power shield myself okay i'm going to summon my mind bender i'm going to cast smite smite went off you can see it right here i'm going to de-summon de-summon this guy for a second Smite went off, hit training dummy, 12,000. The shadow damage did 18,000. So one smite did 30,000 damage. Smite hit, atonement healed. Smite hit, atonement healed. All these other atonement heals are from my mind bender. But the first atonement healed, the second atonement also healed for even more. Did 12,000 healing instead of 8,000 because it's doing, it's doing shadow damage. It's doing a lot more healing. Insane. Remember, you only get the second smite if you have shadow covenant active. But again, I'm going to show you right now how much we can have uptime on this Mindbender, okay? Every time you cast Smite, 
or Mind Blast or Penance, you reduce the cooldown of your Shadow Fiend. So here's what an AoE kind of combo looks like. It's completely insane. You're going to summon your Mind Bender, and you're going to immediately cast Mind Blast. Because Mind Blast procs Schism now. You don't have to press Schism anymore. So here we go. We're going to go Radiance. And we're just going to Smite just to get combat started. And then we're going to do this. Mind Blast. Shadow Word Death. Shadow Word Death to extend our Mind Bender. We're going to do a big thing here. Then we're just going to Smite. Sorry about the lag. Sorry about the lag. We're going to Smite him. Look at the cooldown of Mind Bender. 29, 27, 24. Okay, we're going to do our Radiance again just to keep things going. Here we go. And our Mind Bender is back. We're going to summon our Mind Bender to get our Shadow Covenant window. And we're going to Smite. Do a Shadow or Death just to keep our Mind Bender going. I forgot to do Mind Blast first. But then we're going to Smite, 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 Smite. We still have our Mind Bender up, which means we still have Shadow Covenant going. Okay. Two, one, zero on Shadow Covenant. And we can see the healing through Atonement is completely ridiculous. It's, it's out of this world. We did a ridiculous amount of healing through Atonement there. And then the damage from Smite was also crazy. Smite did 10k. The extra Smite did another 10k. That Smite kept our Atonement going. Like, it is crazy. Look at the, the Sanctuary. I can't even calculate the Sanctuary debuff because it does stack to a cap. But I promise you that it will proc Sanctuary twice as quickly. I can show you that really quickly right here. This combo is completely ridiculous. Let's look at this target right here. I'm going to summon my Mind Bender. Look at this target dummy right here. Hold on. Let's go to edit mode. Let's put him right in the middle of our screen. Okay, target frame. Here we go. See the target frame in the middle? I'm going to summon my Mind Bender. I'm going to cast Smite. Watch the debuff. Debuff right here. Sanctuary. 21k. 3243. And then it's going to 55. 50, it's going to cap at 54. But presumably the enemy would do damage and he would reduce this, uh, this barrier. And then you would keep stacking it up. You can stack this up twice as fast when you're in the Shadow Covenant um, combo. Let's kind of put it all together here for a second. Let me get out of combat. I'm going to fade. This is just like, holy cow, this is the craziest thing I've seen in, in a tier set. It's just so crazy. I'm telling you guys. It is so insane. i got to run further away. I'm so sorry. Give me a second here. Fly away. Let me fly away here and really get right out of the combat range. There we go. And then we're going to go back. We're going to go zoomy, zoomy, zoomy. Let me show you the ultimate penitence. Ultimate Penitence, it's not... When it goes off, it doesn't, like, miraculously cool down Mindbender all at once. It, it only counts the first cast of Penance from Ultimate Penitence to reduce the cooldown of Mindbender. So don't get too crazy about that. Watch my healing over here. Watch how crazy this is. Here we go. We're going to get into Shadow Covenant with Mindbender. And we're going to... Excuse me. Cast Ultimate Penitence in a second. So we're going to go... Purge the Wicked. Mindbender. Mind Blast with Power Infusion. And then we're going to go Ultimate Penitence. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Look at the healing. Boom, 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 And then we just smite a little bit. Do another Dark Reprimand. We forgot to extend our Mind Bender a little bit more. We could do another Radiance here. Another Mind Blast. We're going to do another Penance. Look at the cooldown on Ultimate Penitence. It's almost already at the three-minute mark. Okay. Also, our penances cleaved all of our um, Purge the Wicked's, which was really, really cool. There we go. And look, we already have three minutes on our ultimate penitence, which is really great. Let's extend our Mind Bender a little bit. Another Mind Blast. Another. Here we go. And again, we have this kind of insane combo of the tier set bonus giving us this really, really strong double smite cast. That's the first part of the combo that's insane. And then every time we cast penance, we're getting the cooldown on ultimate penitence down. I'm guessing it's like a two and a half minute cooldown. Maybe a three minute cooldown if we're being conservative. This is probably a three minute cooldown. Two and a half if you're doing a lot of penances and if you get lucky with your harsh discipline procs. Okay? Um, This is ins insane. Like, I, I don't even really know how to quantify how good this is. It's just it's just the best tier set bonus that I've seen for healers, hands down. The interactions with Smite make Smite an incredible button to press. Smite is not the best button to press. It's really not right now in the current Disc Priest um, t uh, uh, you know, kit. But with this tier set bonus, it triggers twice. It's going to deal damage twice, which is more damage. And the set gives you more damage. It's going to extend two 
of your atonements twice, or it's going to extend one atonement twice. Don't get that twisted. Sorry. One atonement will get extended twice. Instead of a two-second extension, you get a four-second extension for one cast of smite. It heals through atonement twice. So everybody that has atonement gets healed twice. It procs this new sanctuary buff twice, which is going to be incredibly strong on boss fights in Mythic Plus and raid bosses, reducing that damage that they deal. And of course, it's the second proc is shadow damage, like I said before, which is going to proc all this. It's completely insane. On top of this tier set bonus being really crazy with Smite, we get a brand new cooldown to play around with. This cooldown is the best healing cooldown in the game. Like, I don't know. This is insane. It does a giga load of healing. on When you, when you press it, it does 24,000 healing to 10 people. That's 240,000 healing, okay? Then it applies atonement to all those people, which, by the way, our mastery buffs everybody with their atonement on them. 41% more healing to people who have atonement on them. So it gives them atonement, heals them all, and then does all the penance stuff, which is just shooting everybody for crazy amounts of healing and lowering the cooldown of this of its own ability. I mean, it's so ridiculous. It's so completely and utterly ridiculous. I don't even know what to say about it. It's so crazy. You could obviously take Evangelism and Raid and extend those atonements even longer. It's bananas. It's bananas. Disc Priest is completely bananas. On top of that, of course, they still have things like Double Pain Suppression, which I'm a big fan of. They have Barrier. Like, you have Single Target DR. You have AoE DR. I think the best healing cooldown in the game. And a Tier Set bonus that is completely off the charts. So, if this doesn't get nerfed in the next couple of weeks, I will be very shocked. And if it doesn't really get nerfed too much, you should absolutely play this in 10.2. You are going to destroy Mythic Plus Dungeons. You are going to wreck everybody else on the raid. Not that it's a competition, but like this is going to be giga fun to play. You're going to have a blast playing this, and you're going to just heal everybody to full all the time. You're going to feel like a god. I'm telling you, it's so crazy. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about this tier set bonus for Disc Priest. I think it's the best one in the game. Prove me wrong. Somebody prove me wrong. Let me know what you think is better than this because I can't imagine a tier set bonus being better than this. Thank you so much again for watching. I love you all. I will see you in the next one.